What up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about phase and how to fix a uh, phase in your tracks. All right, so let's go ahead and listen to what phase sounds like. I don't want to get too technical, but let's go ahead and just use our ears. Make sure you're wearing some headphones or using some good monitors so you can hear what's going on here. So let's listen to kick one. Let's listen to kick two. Now let's listen to them together. Now let's listen to them together with the track. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can certainly hear it. And right now, off tops, I can hear the phase. So the easiest way to fix it, which a lot of engineers and producers and you name it, do it, they'll come in here, they'll have the kick, and then they'll go to their plugins list. They'll call up a plugin here, say, for example, a waves, and then they'll go ahead and flip the polarity. So here's the normal track here. And then with the polarity switch, So that's the easiest way to, you know, to flip the polarity and, you know, change the phase. Well, a lot of times that, that is a quick fix and, you know, it does sound pretty good. But the way I like to do it, I like to manually do it. So how do you do that? So what if you don't have a plugin? So that's when you come in here and you just manually move the waveform. So I like to do it by 10 samples. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And what I'll do, I'll come in here, I'll select one of my kicks. And I'll put the track in phase. Without getting too technical, let's go ahead and take a closer look to see why is it out of phase. Waveforms, they're measured in cycles. So let's go ahead and there we go. Look at this waveform here. So we have from here to here, that's 180, or I'm sorry, 90. Then you have the 270, which is the negative point in the waveform. And then it goes back up. So that's to be your 360. So that's going to be a whole cycle of a waveform. And it's the same thing down here. You can see the cycle of the waveform. It's defined as a zero point. So it's a low pressure point back to the high pressure point. And that's going to be your whole waveform. So that's measured in 360 degrees. So we can see that this is clearly out of phase. Now, to put it in phase, what I like to do is take the bottom kick or you know one of the kicks and just uh, using the nudge feature, I go ahead and set it to 10 samples and then I'm gonna go ahead and move it over. So I'll select this whole track, make sure it's selected, come over here. And as I'm, as I'm uh, moving this over, I'm listening. So let's go ahead and take a listen and make sure this is off here. All right, so let's go ahead and listen. So that's out of phase again. And let's go ahead and listen as I move it into phase. Let me set it right here. And so all I'm really listening to is to see where the kick sounds good together. And now you can see I've placed this whole waveform in the phase. See how they're both up here? Now your kick is completely in phase. All right, it's your boy Young Fizz. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great content. Thank you and hit that like button.